Welcome back, everybody. Matt and I'm back here. Hope you're doing well. Today is the 20th, 20th anniversary of Hellboy. Back in 2004, the first Hellboy movie came out in theaters, directed by Guillermo del Toro, starring Ron Perlman, Selma Blair, Jeffrey Cameron, Doug Jones. Um, this is a great film. I saw this in the theater in April of 2004. This was the start of a great movie season. Uh, with Hellboy, The Punisher, Spider-Man 2, The Incredibles. I mean, 2004 was the year of comic book movies. This is really my first introduction to Guillermo del Toro. He had Blade 2 out two years earlier, but I didn't, re I didn't register director, movie, you know what I mean? So, this was my introduction to him. Also, Ron Perlman. Uh, you see, people don't talk about Ron Perlman being Hellboy as one of the great casting choices. You know, we talk about, you know, Robert Downey Jr. We talk about Heath Ledger's Joker, etc. and so on, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. But we will forget, Ron Perlman as Hellboy was perfect. I mean, he had some great lines, he had emotional moments. Now, also, the makeup and prosthetics look great on him. Also, Doug Jones as Abe Sapien. Um, great makeup and prosthetic work. Also, Selma Blair has her own story. Um, this movie has a lot of humor. A lot of great one-liners. Second date, no tongue. Red means stop. Um, you also have the great John Hurt. That's another one I forgot to mention. John Hurt plays the the, the father, adopted father of Hellboy. He's great in the movie. Uh, you know, even the actor that plays Agent Myers is new, up and coming for the Bureau. He's fun. Um, the either they have great moments, great one-liners. Um, even the villains are scary. This movie's also very dark. Like, the one guy with all, like, the skeleton and bones you can see coming out of his skin creeped me very much of a horror film. I also love that Guillermo del Toro made sure to do as much practical effects and animatronic work. Like with Samael, the desolate one, the monster. Um... Great uh, prosthetic work and animatronics uh, really stand out. Very little CGI. There is CGI in this movie, but it's during the major, major action fight scenes. Um, everything else is pretty much practical, and I love that. Production design, cinematography. I love the scenes where Hellboy's outside in the rain after the funeral, and you see that red just pop in this gloomy, bluish tint and the rain coming down, great. Or when he's in the snow, you see that white snow pop, but then you've also seen the red from his, you know, skin pop too. It just gives us an interesting look cinematically. Um, also right there we got some great miners, John Hurt. There are things that go bump in the night, Agent Myers. And we are the ones who bump back. Like an hour and 53 minutes before credits. Great runtime. Never feels too long. Like I said, it's funny at times. It has some great humor, dark humor. It's also very dark in moments. Almost out of a horror film, which is great. Um, great acting by Ron Perlman, like I said. Jeffrey Cameron is hilarious. His beef with Hellboy throughout the whole movie. There's a nice arc between them throughout the film. Till we get to the end of the film. Um, yeah, this one was a really well done movie. 
Alright, it definitely deserved the sequel it got in 2008. I wish they made a third film in this trilogy, but instead they rebooted it in 2019 with David Harbour, and that didn't work out. And apparently they have another Hellboy coming out, maybe this year. They sh it finished filming and everything last year, like middle of last year. So I don't know where that movie is headed. Um, if it's going to come out this year or next year. But they keep trying to reboot Hellboy when it's like, you should have just made a third film in this trilogy. Um, I even like, I really like the second one also. Um, but let me know in the comments below, are you a fan of the original Hellboy? It's the 20th anniversary. I cannot believe it's been 20 years since this movie came out. It's actually one of the best, I think, in... When you think about superhero comic book movies, you can't deny Guillermo del Toro's Hellboy. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. I want to know your thoughts. Matt the Matt.